we have Planted Foods, um, a vegan food company. Um, and our first presenter that's coming on is going to be Ashley Kirk um, from Planted Foods. And we're so excited to have her today. Thank you so much, Chef Chu, for that introduction. I'd like to get started on my presentation. Again, my name is Ashley Kirk and my company is Planted Foods. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about who we are as a brand, who I am as the founder of Planted Foods, the journey of my company, our products and business stats. Planted Foods is a line of all natural plant-based foods. We develop products that have a twist on classic recipes. We have two main company philosophies. One, to operate with integrity, honesty, and care for the foods that we develop and the consumers that we serve. And two, to provide access to healthy and convenient food. I got started in the plant-based space after having my own struggles with my health. Back in 2016, I experienced constant migraines, anxiety, sleepless nights, and so much more. Because of those struggles, I spoke with my physician and I was given two options to manage my health situation. One, to go on to medication, or two, to go to therapy. At the age of 26, neither of these sounded like viable options. So that led me into doing my own research. I started digging in about different ways that I could reduce stress and help alleviate migraines and all of the other symptoms I was experiencing. And that's when I stumbled upon a plant-based diet. Over the next two years, I dove into the world of plant-based and started educating myself on how what you consume can directly affect your health and the way that your body operates. I was very successful after switching to a plant-based diet. I was able to rid myself of the migraines, the sleepless nights, and my body overall performed perform so much better. Now, if you've ever gone plant-based, then you know it's time consuming to make these foods from scratch. And it's also a little bit of an inconvenience. So although I enjoyed the plant-based diet, I found it to be a little bit of a struggle to figure out what to make every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I went into the grocery store and I purchased all of the things that were plant-based or vegan. It was the vegan cheeses, the, the vegan meats, everything. And I was so excited because I was going to have the benefits of health, but also convenience at the same time. However, that's not how it went. Back then, the foods that were plant-based and on the market did not always contain truly healthy ingredients. So the name plant-based was used, but you weren't necessarily getting the benefits of a plant-based diet. And I started to question, why is it that when I have a vegan nugget, versus a kale salad, why don't I feel the same? That led me into looking to, into the ingredients of these products. And I found that there were a lot of fillers, sodium and other unnatural ingredients. So I went back to making everything from home and I enjoyed that. I started coming up with really creative and unique recipes. And I started making these foods for my family, for my friends and for my coworkers and started really having deep conversations about uh, the benefits of a plant-based diet and the foods that you consume. I found that that was when I was at my happiest. I was so passionate about food and health and talking to individuals about this that I wanted to do more. And that's when I started looking into starting a business. And I used my background in leadership and business management to launch my company, Planted Foods. In January of 2018, I hosted my first food focus group and I brought together friends, family, and strangers to lay out all of the potential products that I wanted to bring into the retail market. I received feedback on my price points, whether it was something they would buy, the taste of the products, every part of starting a food um, product from beginning to end, I received feedback on. The feedback was positive and I went from there and I started my business, Planted Foods, in February of 2018, officially. Over the next year, I spent my time developing the recipes, doing tasting events, participating in pop-up events to further sell my product and get consumer feedback. And in October of 2018, I launched my very first product, which was a vegan nacho sauce, and it's a cashew-based product. In May of 2019, I opened up a pop-up location in San Francisco, which allowed me to sell my nacho sauce in a retail format. 
And I also began selling via e-commerce on my website. In March of 2020, I launched into two retail stores in the San Francisco Bay Area. And to date, we continue to develop our products and working towards going into, a national, going into national retail stores. The two products that I currently have on the market is a chickpea tuna, which is a play on traditional tuna, but made from chickpeas. The second product that we have is a nacho sauce that is cashew based and also made from whole ingredients. Whenever I'm developing a new product, there are three main things that I focus on. One, that the ingredients are clean. And what I mean by clean is I mean that there's no fillers, dyes, or unnatural preservatives. And two, that the products are healthy and made from whole ingredients. Our chickpea tuna is made from whole chickpeas. Our cashew nacho sauce is made from whole um, cashews and other whole ingredients. Lastly, it's important that our products are delicious. Health and taste don't always go hand in hand, but we wanna make it the new normal. Today, we have the ability to process 175 cases per week, and we also can sell B2B to five Western states, California, Nevada, and others. In 2019, we did $68,000 in sales. 2020, we project $108,000 in sales. The funding that I'm asking for today is $300,000. That money would be used for R&D to extend the shelf life of our product, whether that's through ingredients or through our packaging. With the extension of the shelf life, that would allow us to go into national retail stores. And we'll also need the funding for that launch into national retailers for product expansion and product distribution, as well as marketing and sales. Our strategy is to continue to follow the industry trends. Right now, grab and go is a really hot space to be in. We already have our chickpea tuna, which can easily move into a grab and go format. And we also want to continue to follow the future of food. It is always a consistent topic of health in the United States. Everyone wants to be healthy. We all share that in common. That conversation has never died down. And as a brand, we want to continue to develop products that are healthy and to meet consumer needs. We really also want to keep that focus on providing foods that are familiar, but different at the same time. Thank you all so much for your time today. And if you have any questions, I'd be happy to take them. And great job. Uh, great job, Ashley. Thank you. One question I have is, how are you getting the work? How are people with COVID, it's a lot harder now to do trials and things like that in store. How are you getting the word out about expensive foods? Yes. So fortunately for me, when I started this business, I had already been out on the streets. So I have a pretty nice distribution list of emails and customers that I can contact. So I, that's one way that I have um, really been able to reach my customers. And I'm also in the process of figuring out a new way to be able to taste the products in a safe manner. And I'm working with the um, current grocery stores that I'm in right now to determine how to get back out there with sampling products and not actually handing them out to individuals, but having them in a sealed container and they're just taking that individual sample to continue to move the brand forward and continue to allow customers to be able to taste our products. That is really important and there is a way to accomplish that um, and we're figuring that out right now. Thank you, Ashley. As somebody that is both a vegetarian and has a vegan partner, I appreciate that you are in this space. Um, since we're here to talk about Jedi opportunities, can you tell me a little bit more about who your target customer is? Who are you trying to serve and support with um, the, the growth of planted foods? My target customer has always been women. We tend to be the ones who are controlling the food in the household. We're the ones who are feeding the children, purchasing groceries weekly or um, you know daily. And so I've always had um, the mindset that I wanted to reach women. And when it comes to healthy eating, it tends to always be directed towards women. And then 
will follow along with it. So that's really my target audience. And I found that um, um, pointing my ads towards women and going to women um, uh, events that surround women have actually helped me to get to the sales that I reached in 2019 in such a short period of time. But we really want to expand that into reaching families, schools, and um, different sectors of, of business, not just consumers. Okay, um, just questions on organic ways that this audience can help get the word out. So I'm hearing some marketing efforts, particularly to women and maybe to families, and then um, what can we do um, as far as promoting this brand for you? Yeah, the, the main thing that I need assistance with is really ex the, the shelf life. It's the things that are happening behind the scenes of my business is where I need the most support. Um, I be able to reach more customers with a longer shelf life and be able to work with more retail stores. But with a 30 day shelf life, that really um, causes a, um, a block to reaching more retailers. So that's the number one focus for my brand right now. And there are strategies that once I were to be in one of these larger retailer stores to continue to sell to customers and make them aware of our products. But the key right now is actually getting a product that consumers can, can purchase, not just in the Bay Area or those who know about me through my website. Um, but I need a, a longer shelf life to be able to extend and have um, further conversations about next steps. Okay, so directing traffic to your website in addition to figuring out some disruptions to shelf space. Right. And purchasing one store, the two stores that I'm in, um, that also helps um, with everything as well because um, the, that, that data and those stats matter. And all of that is on my website. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Ashley. We appreciate uh, this, your wonderful plant-based company as a fellow entrepreneur with you in the plant-based industry. We thank you so much uh, for your, uh, this work you've done so far. So great success and uh, thank you so much for your, for your pitch. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely.